Dear friends and colleagues, I hope you and yours are weathering the storm well. Just to remind you, today, Friday, May 8th, we were all supposed to meet at Marcelli's. At 6 to 7, social hour, cash bar, and music. 7 to 8, dinner with music. 8 to 9, award presentations and recognitions. And then some more music. Well, needless to say, we're not going to meet in person. Before I begin, I must confess something a little bit embarrassing. When the coronavirus pandemic was less than a household name, whenever I tried to say coronavirus, what came out was covariance matrix. I cannot even tell you how long it lasted before the word coronavirus started rolling off my tongue, and still doesn't do that as well as I think it should. Let me raise a glass to mark the end of the most peculiar, unusual, and oddest semester ever. Let me take you on a prehistoric, pre-coronavirus journey beginning sometime in late January 2020, when we started the semester totally unaware of how our lives, our university, our communities, our world are going to change. We have entered the looking glass round and adjusting is not easy. We started the semester thinking about the future direction of math and science teacher preparation at KU, what we call You Can Teach. We were preparing for high school student visit, prospective graduate students visits, and other day-to-day -day activities that now seem quaint. In the beginning of February, KU issued a travel restriction to China for all university faculty, staff, and students, effective immediately. Signs of things to come. In March, it started dawning on us that this may be more than just an abstract danger lurking far away. But in early March, there were no known cases of coronavirus in Kansas. During spring break, it became clear that this is real. Since then, except for the people that we live with, all in-person interactions were done at a distance, if at all. Most communications were done via Zoom, Skype, phone, email, and the various social media platforms. And here we are. Many of us experience isolation, disconnected from colleagues, family, community. Some of us face financial difficulties, mental health issues, housing, food, and physical insecurities. A portion of us moved back home, the same home they were looking forward to leaving for so many years. Others remain alone in their dwellings, isolated from the world. Our aspirations, given all those trials, remain and in fact become even more focused on health, on being proactive, communicative, transparent, empathetic, available to all of us that require it. We can rejoice that many of us are doing well given the circumstances. As a community, we are ready to be there for each other. The times of social distancing are those that we need the community more than ever. We must look out for those most vulnerable among us with care and support, especially in it is the intersections of underrepresented groups that are those most affected by this crisis. Please reach out and please accept the hand. Looking at our accomplishments of the, as a department, both individually as a whole, it feels like by and large, we've done well and faced those challenging times with grace, dignity, courage, and most importantly, decency. I would like to raise a toast to all of you, a special note to those who are new to us. We're all here because of common fascination, the search for better approximations. I have never experienced a more profound intellectual thrill than engaging in this pursuit. If we didn't have the fields of physics and astronomy, we'd have to invent them. Good luck on your finals. Have a lovely, or at least a lovely-ish, summer. And seriously, and this is the most important part of my little speech, don't be a stranger. Please stay in touch, stay engaged with your colleagues, and please, please consider all of us as your colleagues. Cheers, the disappearing glass. Bye-bye.
And now for something completely different. I'm so happy, oh, happy, very lucky me. I just go my way, living every day. I don't worry, worries don't agree. Things that bother you never bother me. And now, a word from a sponsor. Exploring StatMech, that's what you want. Now available from Monte Carlo Press, the random publisher. Exploring everything is the life work of Professor John Pierre Alston. You'll understand the secrets of the universe. You'll know the reasons for the reasons. How to calculate with symbols. How to make good food out of the vacuum. Exploring StatMech, that's what you want. Did the ancient Aztecs understand quantum mechanics? No, they did not. Get rid of Boltzmann's constant, Planck's constant, and the gas constant. Learn about entanglement, entropy, polarization, and spin. Exploring StatMech is what you want. On sale at Costa J. Hawking, anytime you can get there. Be safe, be well, and be yourself. <laughs>